Hello, my wonderful friends. It is me, your friend, Hubert Anayo Anyoke. I thank you all for being supporting me in this channel by subscribing to us, sharing our messages, commenting on our messages. I thank you all. For my new friends, please remember to subscribe to our channels. Like, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I would like to use the opportunity to still let those that join us at the first time to understand why this channel is being created. This channel is channel for the youth, especially the wounded youth. What do we mean by wounded youth? Those that have been molested in one way or the other. Those that have been de deprived their privilege. Those that have no hope, that don't know where to start, those that have think to take their life, those that have been misled by the hunters of souls, they are the ones that we, are, we created this channel for, to give them hope, to educate them, and to direct them on what to do and how to solve their problem, and also for them to know where their problem comes from, because we are one of them. And they know that there's others that say that experience is the best teacher. Something you have passed, you already knows about it, and you can direct someone how to still cross that bridge and that is why we're here for you people to guide you people to let you know the right thing that we need to do that is why we have been creating this channel thank you all for listening to us now today's topic is about Poor education is one of our major problems in our society, especially in Africa and Nigeria. So that is what causes a lot of problems in the youth of Africans. Now, before I go on with this message, I would like to pass this important information to my beloved youth all over Africa, all over Nigerians. Please, whatsoever that you know that you are friend or your neighbor or your partner, we let them know don't lie for certain things is one of the things that makes us not to trust ourselves anymore. It affects marriages. It affects business partners. It affects many, many institutions. Please let us take note of this. It's very, very important. Whatsoever you know that your neighbor will let her find out, please tell him or her the truth. It will help us to build trust. And to live as one body. Remember, we are here to unite every youth, everybody. That is why we created the channel, not to cause confusion or to fight anybody. No. Now, we ask question: Why do we come up with this topic, education and youth? 
we all know that knowledge is power. What is knowledge? When you are educated, you have the knowledge and it gives you the power to do exploit. When you don't have knowledge of anything, what, whenever you are doing that, you are making a great mistake and you are misleading people. Now, why do I start with this word? There's many of our youth, because they have the privilege, the opportunity to speak where people will hear, then now they keep on driving our innocent youth to the wrong directions by laying the finger or their complaints in the hands of the leaders in our churches today that they are the problems of our society. They are the one that has siphoning people's money, terrorizing people, doing all sorts of things. It is wrong word. And by those people that are doing certain, they are not just directly speaking on the side of telling people what they're supposed to hear. They are busy on their own business. By using such words, insulting the elders, and exalting money from the good citizen of our society by bringing something horrible pictures people that have won disabled or whatever in order to generate money from those people by destroying the image of our leaders in the church from there they were exalting money from the hand of good citizen that think they are doing the right thing. It's all about Rob Peter and PayPal. All is what they are doing. So it is very, very wrong. Whoever that doing it have to exist from that is very, very wrong. Now, to tell us one thing, when you want to solve a problem, you must start from the root of that problem. You have to know the source of that problem. Why is that is like that? When you don't know why something happened, even if you stop it, it will still come back again. Then what we are trying to let us know is that why do we have a lot of problems in our society? One is lack of education. Poor educational system is what is causing problems in our society. How do we tackle this matter? We all know that our educational system in our society has been going down, down every day. That no one, people have abandoned education, pushing money. Because they feel that after they read school, they will not have a job. There's no, they don't create jobs. And now, because of many of our youths that are misleading us by throwing a lot of money at the street, and people now neglect the key of life, which is knowledge, that is the power. That when one is real educated, he can manage his business, he can manage his marriage, he can manage his anything at all that is given unto him or her. Without knowledge, nothing will function well. That is why I'm here to explain to our good youth what we ought to do and how our problem started. Now, number one, the system of our education is not did not balance well why do i say it in other western worlds in europe other places like that, that developed education is compulsory that at least every child must attend to school for some certain level at least every child must know how to read and how to write. 
When you know how to read and how to write, you can explain yourself. You can handle business. You can handle marriage. You can handle different things. In fact, you can lead in any meeting. But now, you will see our child from 10 years, he will start hawking. He start pushing barrel. Start okay, start any job hawking. And when he asks, he say, I want to, I want money. He said, forget education. And that is why those that think they know, use them to make money. Give them stories they want to hear. And they follow them like fly that follow who have wounds in his body. And that is why we are losing many of our youth at today. When somebody don't have knowledge of anything, whatever you give him, he will take. That is why. In the Western world, everybody knows how to read, especially their language. Because they make it to be composite that is most read. Even if you see a madman on the seat of Europe, he still know his bank account. He still know his right upon his mat. But in our in our society now, for one to read, even a small society cannot read it. Why can't that person be be deceived? That somebody will just will just stand and be telling us that somebody that is teaching us how to have a good life, how to build our spirit, our faith, that that person is the one that is causing our problem. Is that right? And we are buying that story. And that same person is the person that will show you a picture or someone that has a big head and small leg and will contribute money to that, that thing. And he too will not even build, correct that mistake that he said that others is doing. And we are clapping hands for him, destroying our, our youth. Diverting them to evil, evil things. And that same person cannot even ask those who that are donating money, how do you get that money? He don't care what he knows about any way of give me money. It's even worse than those that is accusing. And that is wrong education. We must work together and fight for all this evil, evil message that we are hearing. Now, let us see in this angle. Many of our youth now have turned their mind in the area of money. Forgetting that in this our, our society right now, if you did not know how to read and write, there is a certain level you can never reach, no matter how strong you are. You can only walk and walk and walk and walk. At the end of the day, you benefit little. Now, everything now is not digital. It's going under computer. One that cannot read, how can you operate it? Now, even Tizen, even businesses, all is now on internet. One that cannot read, how can he perform all this automatically? That poverty is still there. My dear youth, let us channel our, our energy in education. Let us demand that education will be most composite so that everybody will know his right. That when someone is selling something that's not good, he will dictate it. Not all story that will be taken. It is very, very important. Let me tell us something. Why do you, do you believe many of us that did not go to school, we work with our energy, our strength, under sun, under rain, at the end of the day, we receive peanut. But look at those that devoted their time or have the privilege or the opportunity to read and understand. There's a different thing between read and understand and read and not even pay attention. There's, another, there's two ways. But I'm talking about those that put their effort and their time and read, understand. They only work with their brains and they get money. More than those that say that education is nothing. They are the one in the brick layer. They are the one in all those things suffering. They work with their energy. At the end of the day, they receive little. For example, 
all those doctors, all those lawyers, pilots, the people that are qualified in some, in some of the engineers, they only sit in the office or write and sign, they make money. But those that fail to read, thinking that they can use their energy at the end of the day, they, they work hard and receive little. Even in our odd job we are doing, a lot of used to work, they break ways, they break all this, I don't really get nothing because of what they fail to read. Because someone is somewhere telling them that money is the ultimate. Money, it is good. But if you are educated, if you involve yourself in a business, you do well. Involve yourself in anything, even if when you even change to another society, you can easily adapt to their system because you are learned. So that is why I'm here to let us understand it very clearly that education is one of the principal things that we look onto. That when we force ourselves to be educated, our system will work fine and will limit the high rate of poverty in our system. And all this Killing, killing, killing will stop. But when one is educated, you know that life is very, very important. There's no what to be killed. You cannot push a man like, like a person that has no sense. But before I go on with another point, let me show us in the Bible, because in anything we do, we must remember God. And that is what may give us the power. And that is what show all the real way to follow. Now, I want us to go through the Bible. That is the manual of life. To see what Bible will tell us about knowledge, wisdom. Now, I would like us to look into the book of Ecclesiastes 9, 16 and 17. I will read it out here. Then... We we'll look into it and see that what we are saying is the same. Now, now I will look at Ecclesiastes 9, verse 16. It says that, Then said I wisdom. Wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised. And his word are not heard. You hear that? He said that wisdom is better than strength. When one has wisdom, it's better than one that has strength without brain. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised. They do not take it because it is valueless. And his word are not heard. They don't hear the word of a, who don't have wisdom. So no matter how you struggle, without wisdom, without knowledge, is the wasted effort, wasted energy. So my dear youth, let us invest in knowledge, invest in correct education, so that we will have value in this society. We have value in any way we are. When one don't have wisdom, whatever he said is, is all like nothing. Let us look at verse 17. The words of wise men are had in Quiet is in quiet more than the cry of him that ruleth among the fool. When a wise man says something in a quiet place, people heard it than a fool that are shouting, making noise. People don't understand him because he's just blagging. Please, my dear, let us take note from the wise and be wise. One second. So my dear wonderful youth, please hear me very well. Why we are here is all about to direct our youth. First on what is their problem so that all of us will work hard and fix our society well. Make education in our sight to be composing, 
to eradicate this high level of poverty, high level of killings, high level of corruption and, this, and progress in society because many people, they do not know what they are doing. They are misled because of P not. Many of us are using to dissolve what belongs to us because we don't know that what we are doing will affect us. That is why we need to invest in education. Every other Western world, education is compulsory. And that's what makes them to be strong. Everybody listening to news, everyone knows what is going on in their society. But in Africa, in Nigeria, as a, some of you don't know what is happening. They cannot even listen to you in news. If when there is a time of news, ah, talk your own. At the end of the day, it will affect them. Any law affect the youth. Every law affect the poor. When they want to send people to do bad things, youth will go be there. When they impose any law, youth is one that will die. Let us sit well. Please, my dear friends, listen to this word of knowledge and let us sit well and make our society to be well. Thank you for hearing from us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will see ourselves by next time and we will still keep on on this topic so that our youth will be rebelated from being dying for something that doesn't want it. Thank you and be blessed.